Today I'm catching up with Jason Vorster, Shuriken MMA, and it's always uh, great when I catch up with this guy because he just oozes enthusiasm and uh, always one of the most positive people that I've ever met. And it's great to meet you here today, Jason, because just into your brand new gym. Cheers, Tony. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, just moved in. First class was last night. And yeah, busy classes. Yeah, man. Very excited. Very happy. Looking forward to 2021 in these trying times. Uh, you moved, what was the uh, behind the move from your old place, which was a very well appointed gym? Um, well, lucky enough, we, um, we had to move because we've been so busy. So although the gym was nice, then we just sort of outgrew the space. So yeah, you know, touch wood, we're very blessed. I'm very blessed. Um, so the gym is doing well. Um, and yeah, moved to a bigger, better venue. Um, got, yeah, everyone's on board. So we're very, very excited, very happy. Good things to come, eh? Mm. And you've moved into a shell, so you had to do all the work yourself. Yeah, it was horrible, eh? I think I put on 10 years, got some more gray hairs. Um, yeah, it wasn't easy. I built about 10 gyms in my life, but this was the worst, it was terrible. Um, but yeah, you know, onwards and upwards now, so we're exciting, we're all, all up and running. Um, last time was an opening night, and yeah, we've been, yeah, it's been good. Well, it's good to hear that business is going good, and uh, over the years you have, at many times, at great cost to yourself, held shows when it would have been easy to walk away, but because of the sake of your, the fighters in New Zealand, you've carried on and uh, another busy year for you coming up in 2021 yeah you know Tony and um, don't get me wrong like any promoter we, we promote shows and that's how we make a living you know and um, you win some you lose some you win win lose lose it's it's you know just depends everybody wants to be there for the wins but nobody <laughs> I mean, nobody understands the losses you take and um, but like anything you know even over COVID we were lucky to have a show and um, and um, and um, yeah, man, it's exciting times. We've got good shows coming up. We've got a grassroots on the 27th of Feb. We're busy um, gearing up our Winter Warrior finale in early March. And um, we've got a big show on the 6th of March, SFS9. So um, we're fortunate, fortunate you know, to be in a position compared to the rest of the world where we can still all train and still hold shows and do everything. We've got a, we're supporting XFC, XFC coming back uh, in April and Born to Fight show with Vaid in, in April as well. So there's a lot of shows, there's a lot of fighters and a lot of opportunity for fighters, you know, as opposed to most countries at the moment. So, yeah, we, I think we're in a good position. And you, the fighters from here yourself, you've got, um, you always have a big platform, but you're bringing in a lot of new fighters through the Wimp to Warrior program as well. Yeah, man, that's going, that's going very, very, it's going very well. I mean, this place this morning, there was like, you know, 60 people in the, at half past five in the morning, yeah which is, oh, you know, it's horrible, but it's good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we've got a boot camp class running at the moment, as well as consecutively with a Wim to Warrior class, and it's packed, um, which is great, you know? Who the hell wants to get up at five in the, in the morning to get punched? And oh no, it's, I don't know how they do it. But that program's going great. And, you know, I think they're running one at City Kickboxing at the moment, or they've just had the finale one. And yeah, it's a brilliant program, you know? We're loving it, we're good, glad to be a part of it. And, you know, hats off to Richie. Richie Cranny, um, I think he's got two or three running at the moment in Australia. Um, yeah, man, I think it's I think it's one of the most brilliantly designed programs and series I've, I've ever I've ever seen. The most fairest, most honest, and bucket list programs you can you can get. It's it's brilliant, you know. Yeah, I know Matt Tower does one down in, in the South Island called Bucket List, but it's great. It's a great platform for the fighters to see, and then hopefully we'll retain 30, 40 percent of them, and they'll join the gym, and then they'll go on to maybe fight, maybe just do it recreationally. Yeah, so it's a win-win for, for everyone, you know, and especially our gym, it's good exposure, yeah. Mm. And the Shuriken Fight Series has been a real success that you've been running now for a few years and you usually have three shows. Yeah, yeah, this show we've got a show on the 6th of March and then late September and then we're going to probably do something in, in June, July as well. So yeah, we'll do at least three shows this year. And yeah, the shows have been good, they've been successful. It's keeping all the fighters busy and, you know, fighting, that's what they do. And we've got a good show coming up now. A lot of, a lot of our fighters from the gym will be fighting. Um, yeah, I'm excited, eh? Mm. Uh, last fight you had fighters like uh, Cam Roston and, uh, from Australia. At, uh, that, those guys are being touted as going to the UFC. Um, that's gotta be good boost for the 
fans in New Zealand can see them here before they can actually, before they actually get signed overseas. Yeah, of course, you know, of course, it's like anyone, you know. Israel fought on local shows. I mean, Carlos Olberg just got signed. He's fought on our show before and, 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 and a few of the other local shows in New Zealand. I mean, you've got to start somewhere. Nobody just goes straight into the UFC or any, any other, other, other um, promotions. So I think it's a good platform. It's not easy matching fighters here, you know, especially when we can't use Australia at the moment or any other countries at the moment. It's just local. So, you know, we've got to make do with what we can. But I think we're doing okay. Like I said, compared to the rest of the world at the moment, but yeah, man, the guys train, they fight, and if we can match them, put them on the show, and let them showcase their skills, and hopefully get a contract, and hopefully they can make a living out of it. That's the whole goal, you know? If you're not doing shows, at least local shows, there's no way you're going to make it in the UFC, or any promotion for that matter. Um, John job. Bruin and Brave, he fought on the show, he's a Shuriken champion. JJ Wilson's a Shuriken uh, SFS champion. He's in Bellator doing well in a 4-4-0 streak at the moment. I mean, it's like anything. You know, you've got to start at some level from the grassroots and build your way up. And I think, I think, you know, everyone's doing their bit in New Zealand. And as long as they can keep on supporting the shows, we can hopefully grow M MMA, you know? Well, it was only a couple of years ago when you had to cancel your final show of the year because there were just not enough fighters around. That, are we over that now? Have we got enough fighters to show, have shows regularly? Yeah, you know, it's always horrible cancelling a show. I mean, the fighters make the show. You can get a venue, you can get alcohol, you can do anything you want, but the fighters ultimately make the show. So, um, yeah, we do have quite a few fighters at the moment, um, and there's on too many productions at the moment, um, which, is, which is good. But it's, it's all about matching the fighters properly. If you don't match them fight, fight properly, you know, you, you're going to run into problems from coaches and from, from, from other people, and especially fighters, you know. So, touch wood, been pretty good matching the fighters and having good fights at the show. That's all you want you know, and they get a good fair match. So, yeah, the, the matchmaking is pretty important. Mm. Yeah, and you do a good job of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping. We've Not always. <laughs> I've seen some, I've done some maybe, you know, but we do our best. Hey, Jason, just for anybody in the area, on the North Shore, anywhere on the North Shore, uh, how do they get in touch with you to come down and join this Shuriken gym? Because... Uh, I tell you what, I've had a look around if I was in the area. <laughs> That'd be the place I'd want to go. Oh, yeah, Tone. Oh, we're very blessed. We've got a beautiful gym, man. The culture's great. The, we've got top class instructors, man. We've got like six or seven black belt jiu jitsu instructors, and it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty great having, the, having a facility like this. You know, we just based here on Wara Road in Glenfield, um, just off Wara and Dana Drive. Come down, man. Come be our guest for the week. You can join the gym to hopefully make it as a fighter one day you can join the gym recreational we've got boot camp classes it's pretty cool man it's pretty cool and we've got a nice um a nice um gym at the moment with all the weights and stuff you know and um, so yeah the facilities are quite cool and it's just yeah get up your lazy ass and get to training man you've got to do something come on man you know and everybody wants to learn how to fight and look after themselves in this day and age so yeah we're pretty blessed to to be able to do what we love doing you know it's not even a job to me it's yeah i love I love getting out of bed in the morning, you know, to be honest with you. Anybody that comes down half asleep will be uh, wide awake after they meet you, mate. <laughs> Most of the time it's me, obviously, but up at five in the morning. Holy cow. Yeah, no, but we're very blessed, Tony. And, and, and hopefully we can work with you this year as well and just keep on working together. You've been with, well, I've been with you for the last 10, 11 years, you know. Um, it's, it's great, you know. You just keep the sport alive as, as we all try to do, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's very good. Thank you so much for today and for all the interviews and stuff, you know, you've done. Um, and then hopefully see you at Wim Tawara Finale, see you at the, at the SFS show, you know, yeah. Hey, thanks for, the, thanks for the offer and thanks for your time today. Cheers, Tom. Thank you. Eh? Cheers, mate.